Alright guys, so we're back to do the leak test on that small little walk-in that I had. Uh, so we're going to do a check. I'm going to check in the attic because that's usually where I find them. So we're doing this one and I got to check the whole line set because I don't think it's up here. But uh, So we're here early in the morning to do that leak test because Austin they called me in. It was a uh, late Friday I believe. And uh, they actually waited till it went down again. So now I'm here in the morning. I got time to do that leak test today. So I'm gonna check up here real quick. I got my trusty leak detector. So we're gonna get that going, it's turning on. And I'm just gonna do a quick check before I gauge up. And I wanna make sure that we have enough pressure to do a leak check. So we'll do that right now. So I'm just doing a quick check on these service ports before I mess with them and hook up. But I don't think I'm gonna have a leak up here. Uh, these line sets look really sloppy. So that's why I'm saying I can guarantee that it's gonna be in the attic. Cause they probably uh, didn't support them and they probably didn't even insulate them because these are not either so now I'm gonna hook up let's try and get it equalized and then I'll check well we'll go in the attic right now so just a quick run through inside before I get in the attic I don't think I have anything here either. While I'm up there, I'm just gonna let the fan do some of the job before I gotta rinse this off again. All I did is turn off the power set. So I turn the power set all the way up. That way the compressor will come on and we can defrost. At least for the time being, while I'm looking for this thing. Let's see if it's a pain in the ass to get up there or not. Okay, it actually doesn't look that bad up here. That other line said don't look great though. Next door cooler. And there's something there. Alright, so we got it de-iced. I had to use water. I already cleaned up my mess as much as I could. Didn't get their product wet or anything, but I don't know if they built this over a drain because this floor dips really low right here. Like, it's a sunken area. I'm assuming there might have been a drain there because when I push the water out for the other drain, it like wants to come back this way and it still collects there so I don't know who did that but let's go back on the roof I'm gonna have to put nitro or more freon because I'm not finding it yet uh, the leak 
look at that. They refuse to get maintenance. And a lot of them look like that. So I'm still working on this walk-in. It's actually being a pain. I can't find the leak. Uh, I'm gonna charge it up, let it run, make sure it's cutting out. And check again for leaks. If not, we're gonna have to recover everything and throw in nitrogen. Damn it, it's always the last thing you check or think to check. I swear I, I had checked these last time, but I guess I didn't because I was, uh, like I said, Friday, like five o'clock. So I'm gonna call it that that's our leak. I'm gonna grab my core remover and replace it. And that should be it. It had to have been the smallest leak and these caps don't have gaskets, so I'll get them some with gaskets and replace those. And we'll be done with that. All right, guys, got my trusty remover here. Now we're just gonna replace it real quick. You're gonna hear it now. Got it out. Sometimes it takes a few tries. It doesn't look too bad. Maybe it just got loose, but I'll still put a new one. Gaskets. Somebody has looked for leaks before. I actually almost went on and got one, uh, a leak seal, because I was already going to give up on but that had to have been it because everything else is clean and my leak detector did not pick up any big leaks. So I think it lasted them a, a couple months or something and then it's not even empty. It's just like low enough where it can't pass the TXV and it ices up because it's a really small unit. So just a little bit of loss of charge screws it all up. So hopefully that's it. I'll follow up with them in a couple days probably or next week. And here's the old one. It didn't even look bad. It might have been just loose, like if I had tightened it. The last time I was here, I probably would have fixed it, but I'll take these with me. And here's, uh, I believe, the third Intelligent we've installed. This was a three fan. 
it actually has uh, no issues so hopefully that one I did a video on with all the issues was just like a fluke So I gotta make sure it cuts out because I don't want it to ice up from it just running too long. So I'll let it run a little bit and then we'll try and cut it out. And now it's cloudy. So as you saw there, it, it basically shut off at 32, a little too low to the cooler. So we're gonna let, I uh, just adjusted it to Three degrees higher. And make sure it cut out so it's gonna be like 44, uh, 34, 35. They'll be happy and that's it. So just make sure you always check your temp controls when they cut out and stuff like that because they're not always accurate. So we're gonna move on to the next one, see what happens.